Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Creeps, Creatures, and Haunts. Oh my! And in today's episode, we're going to be doing something um, a little bit more unique. So this has been something that's going to end up becoming more popular, I see, is these AI uh, story writers. So basically how it works um, is you type in a prompt and it starts generating a story. It looks through like zillions of websites and stuff and just kind of generates things based on what it thinks a human I think would like to hear is I believe is what it's trying to do. I don't really know the science behind it, but we're just going to have some fun today. Me, um, I don't really know a prompt that Kim's going to do and I kind of have a loosely one in my head. It's going to be more of a funny episode, but we're going to kind of try and stick to a um, horror theme with the video though, just a couple things. Um, we did recently just start a Patreon. That link will be in the description below. Um, and there's a whole bunch of fun rewards like uh, cards and stuff. Like if you're doing a certain subscription thing, you get um, a card every couple months and stuff like that. A whole bunch of other gifts and just helping support us so we can keep making the content for a small channel like this is super appreciative. And also yes. the biggest thing you can do if you can't do that is just sharing and liking the video. Yes. Leaving a comment. Please. Just that. YouTube's algorithm likes when people share and comment and blah 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 blah. We're trying to grow the channel so we can continue to make this kind of fun stuff for you. If you feel listening to the podcast, you know, make sure you subscribe there. Leave us a review. Um, you let us know what you think of it. Improvements. If you like what we're doing, what we could do, all of that good stuff. But that being said, um, I guess we will just kind of start and get into this. All right, so I know Kim, you said you had a thing, so we're going to go ahead and uh, type in a prompt. What do you want the, the, the prompt for this, this story to be? I was going to just start it as, um, as I was walking through the woods. All right, as I was walking through the woods, and then we'll hit complete, and now it's going to start making a story here. And I will let you read your thing. Okay. As I was walking through the woods near my father's house. That's the sentence. Okay. One day, while looking about me for a tree <laughs> to make an offering of thanks in case any evil spirit should be supposed to have entered into me. <laughs> I saw something moving among. And then it stops. Now, okay, for one, I want to say it's hilarious that it's instantly gone whore. Yeah, instantly <laughs> it's instantly like, spooky, there's, like there's evil. demons in me, so I got to find the tree to get them out. Yeah. So now how this works is we can actually type something and like lead it along, or we can just kind of let it continue. So um, let's see. I saw something moving among. The trees. The trees. All right, then we'll just continue. All right. I saw something moving among the trees which were growing at some distance from me. It seemed like one of those small birds and flew away with great rap rapid rapidity. Yes, that's a word, rap rapidity. Rapidity? Rapidity, I believe that's it. Rapidity? Yeah, sure. <laughs> On approaching nearer, it proved to be a large black serpent. How, how do you think it's a bird and it's a snake? It proved to be a large black serpent, which, gliding among its back, coiled itself. And then it ends. Let's just continue. I want to see where it goes with this. I don't want to interject. Oh. Ooh. Okay. So, on approaching nearer, it proved to be a large black serpent, which, gliding along its back, coiled itself around my leg when I felt something pressing against it. This was the snake, which had found out that there were two snakes in this place. <laughs> what? I, I could not help laughing at seeing such an odd creature so near. And for some reason this has beginning quotes. Right, yeah, it just does whatever it wants. Let's see. I could not help laughing at seeing such an odd creature so near. Um, I don't even know. We'll continue. We'll add on something to the next one. I don't know what to even add to that. It's like a weird place for the sentence to end. Yeah, near okay. me. I could not help laughing at seeing such an odd creature so near me. It seemed like one of those monsters that lived in the forest and would eat human <coughs> beings. Okay. In spite of this, it did not frighten me, but only made me laugh. 
The next day, I went out with my... Um, who did he go out with? My dog. He went out with his dog. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, well, there we go. Out with my dog on a hunting trip. Okay. The next day, I went out with my dog on a hunting trip. We had gone some distance before we came across another large animal. This time, I was afraid of it, as I felt sure that if I fired my gun or shot anything else, there might... Um, let's continue. Oh, God. Oh, there we go. There might be a great deal of noise. Well, yeah, that's what happens when you fire a gun. Yeah, shocking. So I turned and ran back towards where we were. As soon as we got within shooting distance, I fired, but no sooner did it take effect than the animal bounding away over the... That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. <laughs> For the... We'll just put river. It ran over the river. And the thing is, I don't know if these ever end, so we'll have to, like, figure out a way to end it. Yeah. As soon as we got within shooting distance, I fired, but no sooner did it take effect than the animal bounded away over the river in a great hurry. I fired again, and this time my bullet hit it. It was lying on its side with one of its legs broken. The wounded animal, however, scrambled up into the tree <laughs> again and went off. What is this thing? Leaving... Okay. Leaving what? <laughs> oh, God, now it's going to... Yeah, Leaving me happens. to wonder how he had managed it. He might have done it indeed if his gun were only loaded. End the, quote. <laughs> it just... William P. Wallace, The History of New Jersey, page 203. A man is shot. Okay, so... Um... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. So basically we went from, you know, I mean, it, it, it kept pretty consistent with uh, being in the woods. Um, I like that the serp, that, you know, that yeah. a bird turned into a, like, evil demon serpent and, you know. Yeah, it that started off pretty fun. spooky and then it just kind of went. And then it just kind of went, yeah, it just kind of went off in a tangent. Um, so we'll, re we'll restart here. Um, I'll start something uh, because, again, they don't really end and there's not really a way to uh, end it. <laughs> you just kind of, um, yeah, we can also, um, put prompts in, but let's, let's try this. So I want, um, Bigfoot was wandering when the aliens came to get him. All right. Oh, goodness. Bigfoot was wandering when the aliens came to get him. Let's see what uh, what you think of that, AI writer. Bigfoot was ron wondering when the aliens came to get him. Scored a big one. We don't have to worry about that anymore. We're going on vacation now, and they won't be able to find us. That's why we're here today, and our new friends from space... <laughs> scores. They love to... Like, they use the thing scores a lot. How do you like them apples? I want some of your apples. You can eat my apples, too. What are they doing in space? Why aren't they any astronauts? I'm... <laughs> I'm Bigfoot. I want Bigfoot to be in this story. I know. What happened to Bigfoot? They picked him up and then they I don't know what to do, so it's... Screw you. I'm Bigfoot, and I approve this message. As well as we will back soon, scores. Scores. What? You were right. The aliens didn't come for me. They wanted... <laughs> they wanted my... I, they wa <laughs> the aliens didn't come for me. They wanted my apples. And they got them. We don't need to be worried about their invasion. We're not afraid of monsters in the woods. I'm sure you'll agree with this one. Now all that's left is to... What one is there left to make a crop circle? Aliens like to make crop circles. Out of wow. Now that's all that left to there is to left to make a crop circle out of their apple. We can see it in your backyard scores. I think scores is the name because it always keeps capitalizing the S. It's almost there. 
I can't wait until it's done scores. I'll take pictures and post them. What's happening? So is the Bigfoot named Scores? I don't know. Who or is one of the aliens named Scores? It just names things, random things. Um, all right, let's see. Um, oh, goodness. I want this to be about aliens, alien probes. All right, let's just type in alien probes. Scores face fall... Scores face fell as he saw his alien probes had been snapped out of their socket by the force of impact. He looked around at all the others in the room staring at him. The, then one said, hey boss, did you just say I could go back to... Oh, I should have typed in a planet name there. Let's see what it says. Hey boss, you just say I could go back to work now? This made big boy very angry. <laughs> you can't take your apples and run away because I'm going to tell my boss what happened here. If you keep running off, I'll call the police on you. At this point, hmm, well, it, keeps, it really wants to talk about this apple. Yeah, what the hell was that? So let's, I didn't know aliens liked apples so much. At this point, I grew suspicious, that's, there you go, <laughs> of the apple. Let's see. At this point, I grew suspicious of the apple, so I started poking it as hard as possible. It didn't hurt at all, but after a while, they decided not to touch it. They did, however, make me feel pretty bad for being such an asshole. <laughs> oh my god. And, uh, yeah, we'll say that's the end of the story for this one. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I just wanted a story about Bigfoot, and instead we got... Some weird story about uh, an apple. Yeah, I aliens guess. and their Ali it just it, it would not let me talk about Bigfoot, but aliens and apples. That was um, <laughs> that was the takeaway. <laughs> that was our big takeaway uh, from this one, I guess. Yeah. All right, Kim. What's your? Go ahead and um. Um. You can type a prompt if you'd like okay. to. Okay. This is a fun, uh, fun party game to play. Like if you have friends over, like let's just force this AI that's not supposed to be doing this into doing this. Playing with it was a dark and stormy night is our uh, prompt here. Right, let's see what they do. It was a dark and stormy night when the storm burst upon us, accompanied by heavy thunder and lightning. But we did not feel any anxiety about it. We had our boats prepared with plenty of provisions on board for two to three days. Let's go ahead and continue. Yeah. Let it go a little more before we interject. The wind blew so hard that it required all our strength to keep them from being swamped. The weather continued very thick during the night, which made us, which made us think it would be impossible to get over the... Hmm. Over the what? Oh, okay, sure. Yeah. The weather continued very thick during the night, which made us think it would be impossible to get over the bar before morning. Oh, we had been in this situation three or four days when a heavy squall came on, accompanied by such torrents of rain as we could scarcely stand. Our sufferings were almost insupportable, and I thought... Oh, okay, let's see. This has to be the doing of an eldritch tear. How do you spell eldritch? Eldritch. Huh? There we go. Eldritch tear. All right. Let's see if we can get some Cthulhu in here. Yeah! Cthulhu, Cthulhu. All right. So, and I thought this had to be the doing of an eldritch rich tear that haunts the sea. As night approached, however, it cleared up, but not so soon as our former visit. The wind again increased until midnight, at which time it blew hard from the southward, attended by violent squalls all. So basically it was like, here's your tear, and that's And then that's it's it. like, no. no. That's all you get. Okay, so, attended by violent squalls all night. 
The storm continued until daylight and was succeeded by another more severe. In all, about 12 hours were passed without anything having happened worthy of notice. At 8 o'clock next morning, I went upon deck and finding myself... Well, my eldritch tears. Give me them. Yeah. Okay. All oh. right. At 8 o'clock next morning, I went upon deck and and finding myself staring at Cthulhu in a state of perfect amazement, my first impulse was to run away and hide myself. <laughs> but on second thoughts, that seemed too good an opportunity for a practical <laughs> joke. What? So I determined not only to remain where I was, but also to keep watch as well as any man could do under such circumstances. However, just then there came another tremendous gust of wind accompanied by a heavy sea that sent me staggering down into the cabin. As soon... At least it's like it's being consistent with the storm on the ship thing. Yeah, it wants a storm. It will not give like, me whatever. my Cthulhu, though. No it, Cthulhu it, it, for you. Okay. As soon as I recovered my senses and was able to look about me, I discovered what appeared to appeared like an enormous iceberg, not more than two miles in length, stretching away towards us on either hand. Either hand. A few minutes after. All right, we're gonna. It likes to get murdery. I got my knife. Let's give him a knife. Yeah. See if it cares about that, or if it just continues doing its own story. A few minutes after I got my knee. Blah. <laughs> a few minutes after I got my knife out of its sheath, I saw some breakers close before us, but they were too far off of our boat to run in. It was, therefore, impossible for her to get round them. My first thought was to send her... Who? Her is probably the boat. Uh, send her back again, but this I found we could not do without assistance, and therefore resolved on trying whether she might not run ashore in some sheltered bay or harbor, and, if so, what course should be pursued next. In. Hmm. I really want it to be spooky. Why wouldn't it let us yeah, do spooky things? It, it's doing a sea, a sea tale here. Let's just, um... Let's let's kill them. Crashed into iceberg. There's an iceberg. Let's crash them. It says in, but it doesn't make any sense. But that's my prompt. In crashed into iceberg <laughs> again, rolling heavily. When I felt my arm seized by one of those who had been lying among me, who, seizing my hand, held me up the side as fast as he could, while others were busy getting out. The that's it. Mm -hmm. Getting out of the boats. Sense. This seems so desperate and expedient. and expedient that I said nothing, lest I should give them encouragement to continue their enterprise. They took me along with them, though they scarcely knew how to put me upon shore. At length they... This just keeps going. All right. It just, I don't, I don't know what it all is. died. Please, try to kill them all. <laughs> At length, they all died, but two men, we wanted them all to die, <laughs> no! who were not able either to walk or sit down. One was left behind, and I saw him no more. Another man also died av after having gone ashore for water, while others fell down exhausted from loss. Loss of what? Ooh, let's see. Loss of blood. Okay, there we go. And were carried on shore by their companions. On one occasion, two men swam out into the open sea, but not being able to make themselves heard among the noise of the surf, they both perished. At length... But... And, <laughs> see if I get to actually end the story. I don't think it will, because I don't think that's the purpose of this, but... No. <laughs> At length, the end came for all who were left alive, Yay, except I myself them. and my brother, William. Well, I killed all myself. Apparently, them. William's there. <laughs> we looked around us, expecting every moment 
that we should see some sign or token by which our fate might be determined. Our only, our only hope lay in... <laughs> it's almost bad that I like want to know how it ends, but I, I know, know it's not right? going to. Our only hope lay in reaching a spot where there were deep enough water for me to swim over. There was no doubt of it being possible to do so, but at this point, the ice seemed so firm that although I could wait out. We'll let it have one more. We'll let it do one more line here. Okay. Where'd it go? It's there we go. Although I could wait out some distance into it, I felt sure that if once we got ashore again, we should find ourselves among the icebergs again. <laughs> On looking round, I saw a great mass ahead of us, which, judging from appearances, must have been... Oh, nope, I need to know. <laughs> what is the great mass? Is it Cthulhu? Is it Cthulhu? Uh, it better be the Cthulhu! Uh, judging from appearances, it must have been large enough nope. for our purpose. To what? make matters worse, it looked very much larger than any iceberg I've ever saw. Though there were many smaller ones floating about. The sea did not, however, appear particularly rough. And after making... Nope, that's enough. We're going to say that it ended. They all they all died except him and his brother. And they were on the island and they died. Yeah. That's how the, the story ends. Wow, there's a lot of text. Um, I mean, it's kind of a good story. Except for the fact that we couldn't get it to end. All right, so let's do on some vampires. Let's see. Ah. Um, vampires in their castle and that's it all right well, so let's see what, what will we get with some vampires here vampires in their castle and a few other things this one has been going on for about 20 years or so now i think on the other hand there is a little bit of history that happens when you look at the let's see when you look at the word vampire as it relates to someone who is also human i'm not sure if that's why they call what they call them anymore, but it's a pretty good idea anyway. What? The first vampire was, no, we're going to get like an autobiography on vampires. The first vampire was supposed to be a human, but he turned into a vampire because he was afraid of the sunlight. <laughs> so now you know how vampires were made. Someone oh. was scared of the sunlight, and then he like became sun. vampire. The second one, oh, the second vampire, was a man who was bitten by a werewolf and became a vampiric being. <laughs> it's not how it works. Well... Um, I, I want to be a vampire daddy. I want to be a vampire daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. What do we got? I want to be a vampire daddy. The third. Oh, it just didn't care. It, it just didn't care. <laughs> it was like, like, fuck you. I don't care. The third one is a guy who is possessed by the devil and is trying to kill me. He's a little bit of a dick, but he's not a bad guy. Oh, it, it just, it's just that he doesn't have the same kind of power that I have. So I guess we already are a vampire. I'm not going into all the reasons why, but I will say that it's because I am a human. Um, who is also a, uh, werewolf. But I will say that it's because I am a human who is also a werewolf and therefore more powerful than him in some ways. Not always, just some. So then when we get back to our original question, why do people want to be like that? Why would anyone choose being an immortal vampire over becoming a werewolf? Yeah, like it stopped the app there. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, a werewolfer. Oh, becoming a werewolfer. The answer is simple. It is because they are afraid of the consequences of their actions. If they were to become a vampire, they would have to deal with the fact that they can't. Um, do, 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 do. The fact that they can't control their vampiric nature, and they'd be hunted down and killed by the vampire community. In the books, I wanted to make sure that the werewolves were human, and not... We'll let it continue there. And I want to start a battle. 
and not vampires. The other thing is that I think it would be very difficult to write a book that was set in a world where the only way to kill someone is to feed on them. Let's see. And it starts I. I don't like I. Let's delete the I. Um, let's see. The vamp... The werewolves started to eat the vampires. There's a random link. The werewolf started to eat the vampires after he killed them as they tried to bite him. So there are many things about this story which makes me believe that something like this could happen. There's a random website link. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Is it Canada? Yeah. Man, and here is the link to the original article. I don't care about the link to the original article. It won a freaking werewolf vampire battle. It's a werewolf story. Yeah, it's just like trying to give this like, like the no, could be true. you write the story about the vampires. It's a story about a guy who has a problem with his own abilities, and he's trying to figure out how to deal with it. He's not a super powerful were, were werewolf. He just wants to live a normal life, and that's and that's what I've tried to do in the show too. And now, now he's talking about like a fucking season of shows and stuff. My God. Um, all right, I don't know. Let's here. I want to. I want to try one more, and then we're gonna be done with this. This is ridiculous. The um, I don't know. Let's have fun. <laughs> <laughs> it just kind of writes what it wants to write, which is a little bit upset. Like, just I wish it would like. I don't know. Kind of go with what we're saying. It just kind of does what it wants to, though. I don't really know what you would use this for. Like, it's a tool for, like, something. Make it. Yeah. As I place the last body part into the boiling pot. Let's see if we get something which. As I placed the last body part into the boiling pot, I noticed that the pot was very <laughs> hot. No shit. I took the lid off and placed it on the stove. I immediately felt the heat coming from the bottom of the kettle. The heat was so intense that my skin began to burn like a candle. My eyes started watering as if they were about to pop out of their sockets. At this point, I realized what had happened. What happened? I don't know either. I was burning <laughs> up. Yeah, well. Wow! I immediately ran to the bathroom to wash my face and wash off the burning sensation. When I came out, I looked in the mirror and saw that I had a burn on my forehead and my hair was all over the place. Just fell off. Maybe. I also noticed that there was a large red mark on the inside of my left eye. How do you know if it's the inside? Like, the, I don't know what that means. Um, all right, and then I typed, was not able to sleep that night because of my flesh melting off. I want to make it go grotesque. All right, I was not able to sleep that night because of my flesh melting off from my body. It hurt so bad that it took me an hour or more before I could get any sleep. That's pretty good. The next day, when we were leaving the hospital for home, everything went as usual until about... five minutes into the flight from JFK <laughs> Airport what? when somebody asked if there was anything they needed while waiting at security. My thir first thought was, why would anyone need anything? And then I realized that there might... Might be a... smell <laughs> of burning flesh. Anybody need some nose plugs or something? Right. I don't know. A little burning flesh. Okay, my first thought was... <laughs> oh my god, it doesn't even care. Why would anyone need anything? Then I realized that there might be the, a smell of burning flesh. I put the <laughs> pot on high heat and made a pot of tea. Okay. After a while, I noticed that my skin was starting to burn. It felt like it was burning from the inside. So we're back at the fucking pot again. Well, now like, it's flesh is burning, though. It's from the inside this time. 
Oh, now we got... Okay, I noticed that my skin was starting to burn. It felt like it was burning from the inside out and had this weird smell. Right, that's what I said. <laughs> and when I looked down at what was left on my body, all the blood in me started to flow. And then there's a website from Canada. <laughs> that's a thing that happens. Because, well, it's looking at different sites, I think, to figure stuff out. And sometimes it just gives you leaks <laughs> accidentally. Yeah. I don't, it doesn't know what it's doing. It tries. Yeah. It's, oh, oh. Oh, it just gave us numbers. Oh, Fun. Okay, here we go. Oh, we'll just keep. There was a little. Uh, oh we'll just no, keep continuing. Just I think we broke it. Um, yeah, there's just a bunch of numbers in a website. AI. Um. Yep. No. Yeah, he doesn't know what he's doing. He's just giving us numbers now. It yep. won't generate that's anything it. anymore. All right. I guess that's the end of. The, Too of, many of the continuations story. in a row. It yeah, says. it says that a lot though. It's fine. Because, like I said, this isn't really what it's intended okay. for, but this is more fun than... I would say, yeah. I don't know. I think it's supposed to help you, like, if you have a writer's block to kind of come up with ideas. You're not really supposed to make it write a story, but um, it, it's just... It's more fun this way. Yeah, it's more fun this way. So, um, yeah. Well, that that's the, probably going to be it for this episode. Um, <laughs> if you enjoyed us making the AI tell us stupid, dumb stories, let us know, <laughs> and we'll make another episode like this or something. Or if you have suggestions of what you'd like us to type... Yeah. Leave that in the comments, you know, messages, whatever. Um, and just again, as we mentioned at the beginning of the video, make sure to at least go over and check out the Patreon page, see what we have to offer and all of that. We also have a Patreon video that kind of explains it all if you don't feel like reading stuff, because I know I don't like to read stuff. Reading stuff. Um, but yeah, and if you know, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you check the links for the podcast and all the other stuff we're talking about. If you're watching the podcast, the link for the YouTube video um, of this episode will be there as well as everything else we've talked about today. And uh, thank you guys very much for watching and listening, and we will see you guys in the next. Bye.